Buzz on Newsnight, indeed all across British television, the death today in Belfast of our former colleague Vincent Hanna. He was a big man in all senses of the word, a big intellect, a generous character, a man equally at home writing sports columns for newspapers, negotiating rights on behalf of his fellow journalists, or broadcasting on the radio. He's as familiar to viewers of Channel 4 as to listeners on Radio 5. But Newsnight viewers will remember Vincent as the man who tirelessly for many years gave an authoritative stamp to our political coverage with wit and grace as well as good judgment. Sometimes it's hard to work out whether the politicians are exploiting us or we are manipulating them. Elections nowadays are in part political circus. But the thing about circuses is that they don't happen by accident. Performers actually have to want to walk tight ropes, tame ferocious backbenchers, juggle manifestos, and they have to practice at it too. It's a long and slow process. Um, trouble is, of course, the, it's the Hughes piles they're worried about mixing up votes for Robert Hughes and Simon Hughes and uh, I think Robert Hughes is be thankful for any vote that he could get at the moment really. Good evening and welcome to the Dunning on the World by-election. <laughs> the first thing I must tell you is that the turnout has been very good. As a matter of fact the voter turned out before breakfast. <laughs> and I can bring you the result of our exclusive exit poll which produced a 100% result for mind your own business you nosy bastard. <laughs> An awful lot of this campaign, an awful lot of the uh, what you've built up depends on you, that it's personalised to you. And when you do think about it, what strikes you about the alternative? How do you mean? <laughs> you weren't here. Well, I don't think that's a very sensible hypothesis upon which to begin speculating, if you don't mind, since I fairly obviously am. Um, <laughs> I think we'll just leave it like that, really, Vincent. But the election begins and ends with Peter Tatchell whose nickname in the local party is E.T. Which enables us to speculate on whether this shy, timid creature from so far away can yet find happiness amongst this alien electorate. Can P.T. become an M.P. and be transported to the palace across the river? Or must he stay here, the rebel of Rockingham Estate, and wait again for his destiny? That, needless to say, it was Vincent Hanna. Vincent Hanna, who died today. That's all from Newsnight tonight. Hugh Edwards will be back with more tomorrow night. Until then, from all of us on the programme, a very good night.